Hello all. Uh, in this class, let's uh, start a simple exercise with the help of a DC source, and we'll connect uh, three resistances in series, uh, series with the DC source, and we'll find out uh, what's the value of the voltage and current that is passing through the circuit. So, firstly, uh, this is the login screen you can find. Once you find the login screen, you need to uh, go for the DC source, that is the main component. So here you can see there are a lot of number of parameters you can observe here. From here you can take, you can click here. It will show uh, a database. In this database, I required a DC power. So I will take a DC voltage source. If I click OK and uh, a, a battery will come like this. And it can uh, change the voltage also. Suppose if I want to go for 100 volts, I can keep the 100 volts here. So there are a lot of parameters that can be changed here. So for time being, I'm just considering about only the AC, DC voltage. So I'm taking 100 volt DC voltage. After that, I would like to take three resistances of uh, different values. So and uh, after this one, you can say place basic option here. You click on this option and you can find a lot of the values of resistance that you can see. That is starting from uh, milli ohms to ohms and then to mega ohms. So let me take in two ways. Uh, firstly, I'll take for one ohm. So for one ohm, I'll keep here the circuit. And uh, after that, I'll take for two ohm. So and uh, See, you might be wonder that why these values are 1.47, 1.43, 1.5. Why it is not in uh, in a sequential fashion? You might have doubt in your mind. Basic thing is uh, the multi sim usually replicates whatever the components that is available in the market. So these are the values that is available in the market. So that is the reason why we are taking all practical components. So for another thing, I'll take. Uh, uh, three value of three ohm of resistances and I'll keep here after keeping all these things let's close this uh, be, mm, close this and let's connect one after other and let's connect one after other let's connect one after other and then let's uh, uh, connect back to the source so uh, while uh, you are making any kind of circuit ground is mandatory so let's uh, take the ground so by clicking the basic option and you can see uh, there are a lot of parameters are there in this one go for the sources in the sources you can go for the ground and you can take the ground and you can connect the ground here so our main aim here is to find out the current in the circuit so to find out the current in the circuit, obviously we need to uh, connect a voltmeter in series the circuit. So for this, just right here, if you can see here, you can click on it and you can get a equipment. So if you double click in, it shows say multimeter. So here you are having various ranges, a meter, that means a current, voltage, uh, resistance for AC as well as DC you can find out. So for time being what I want is I want to find out the value of the current. So I'll keep A. So as you know the ammeter is always connected in series with the circuit. So I'll uh, remove this part and the positive terminal I'll connect here. And the negative terminal I'll connect here. So that if I take here the circuit. So the ammeter is connected in series with it. So this is the multimeter or ammeter where you can connect. So once you connect this, uh, now you need to find out the value of the current that is flowing through the circuit. So for this, just you need to run the uh, run the circuit. So by pressing the run button. So once you run the button, you can observe here uh, that simulation is running, and you can double click it, and the value of the current is 16.6667 amperes. Now, uh, uh, let me tell you how uh, whether this this is giving correct or not. You can cross check. So by using our basic class i is equal to v by r, let's take a calculator. In the calculator, we need to connect v by r. So 100 is the voltage divided by r. 1 plus 2 plus 3. Since these are in 3, the effective resistance is r1 plus r2 plus r3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is uh, 6. So that is 16.6667. So if you see the meter, 16.667. So both are 
coming correct so this is how you can uh, find out also uh, one more thing you know in practical situations if you want to find out the how the waveform is coming you can go for directly the oscilloscope you can see here you can see a tectonics oscilloscope is there you can take the oscilloscope here and uh, it's very difficult for you to see what kind of uh, components that's there in the oscillator for this reason you just double click on it once you double click on it the practical the practical oscilloscope that we used in our general uh, labs you can see here so it has four channels channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 and it has various options you can play with all the options and for time being uh, if you want to switch on and switch off this is the button okay so this is uh, right now is an off condition i mean uh, i'm making it off on condition so what i want to do is i want to connect channel 1 and the ground to this uh, uh, resistance and i want to find out how much value of the voltage is there so what i'll do is uh, i'll take uh, the channel 1 channel 1 i'll connect here and uh, i'll take ground so if i want to find the total value of uh, voltage okay total value of voltage means the voltage drop across this one plus the voltage drop across this one plus the voltage drop across this one i can find like this way now if i run the circuit the circuit is running here and you can see the and you can go here see uh, the option is called auto set just go for auto set so once you go for auto set so here we have set the channel 1 each box you know each box is for 100 volts so it is going it is showing 100 volts completely the channel 1 is 100 volts let's stop it let's stop it instead of that let's change it to 110 volts and let us find how it's changing so i'm changing it to 110 volts okay and i'm running the circuit again and i'm double clicking here and uh, I'm, um, I mean, I mean, see, if you connect it to channel one, this will be highlighted, ground on channel one. Now go for auto set, and once you go for auto set, it's showing the channel one voltage. That means each box. See here, you are observing. No, this one box is 100 volts. If two box are there, 200. Three box are 300. It means each each box is of 100 volts so since i am getting the channel one how much voltage you are getting you can find here the channel one voltage is 110 volts so likewise you can find out the voltage by using the oscilloscope and you can you can measure channel one measure so whatever you want to measure the whatever of source frequency whatever you want to measure the period the main voltage the peak to peak voltage all these things you can measure with the channel one so like this fashion you can even check everything and then measure everything also and you might have a doubt suppose uh, how much voltage that is getting dropped across the resistance r1 so then for this you just click on the channel 1 probe and the ground probe instead of connecting the ground probe here so stop the circuit delete the ground probe take the ground probe to r1 so thereby you can find out the voltage across only the particular resistance so here and go for the auto set so the voltage is 18.3 volts and each channel is of 5 volts 5 volt you see here the channel one is each line is each division is of 5 volts so the total voltage is 18.3 volts let us check whether it is correct or not so the total current in the circuit is 18.33 18.33 into 1 is 18.3 so 18.3 volts so it is 18.3 volts so our assumption is correct and moreover you can observe here you are able to see what kind of waveform you are giving instead you stop the circuit and instead of giving the DC voltage you may give the AC voltage also okay so uh, instead of giving the DC voltage you may give AC voltage and also what you can do is you can plot the characteristics so for 100 volts you plot you just take what's the value of the current what's the value of voltage across each resistances 
for say 120 volts repeat the same like this with a 10 intervals of time 100 to 200 take the voltage drop across each resistor and take the current and plot the graph between voltage and current this is how you can uh, do it uh,